there's a coconut without the uh, the outer uh, green, uh, sometimes uh, white. Uh, exterior. A uh, good test for a knife would be to take that off as well and I, I might do that in the future. Here you see uh, a little face. Uh, coconut, monkey nut. That's the monkey's face. I'm going to go ahead and uh, help you understand the best way to uh, identify which hole you actually um, use when you open this thing. Now you can see the monkey's face. I put the eyebrows on and the eyes. See the, uh, the little areas right here? Okay, those um, are significant to you because it is this area right here that you will use. That's the softer area. That's the area where the root will come out of um, when the nut roots. And uh, you know, I may have that backwards. It may be this end that roots. I'm not sure. And sorry about that. The cat just hit the hit the camera. It ain't cat. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to open this up using this kukri available for about 60 bucks for give or take from K-Bar. I've been running this through a few tests. I really like it. I like the feel of it. It's very sexy. Uh, my daughter-in-law said and I agree. Uh, I have stropped it some and I, I actually took some 220 to it because I've been using it for some different things and not really, uh, you know, uh, ran it through a lot of film testing. So, so here we are. And what we're going to do is we're going to just poke this, just like this. You can hear it. in the mouth of the monkey there. Now ideally, if you had a piece of, uh, uh, this would work a lot better with like a smaller, uh, more piercing, you know, more pointed blade. But I want to use this kukri because I want to uh, get used to using this for all kinds of things. And while it might not be the best tool, some things I want to know that it is able. I'm starting to get some moisture there. So I know we're getting close. Who needed a beach ball for Wilson? You could have used a coconut. I think we're about through there. That's going to take a while for this to uh, drain. Uh, I want you to know that this is not actually uh, coconut milk. This is uh, coconut water. Coconut milk is made with, uh, uh, you take the meat of the coconut and you soak it and, you know, do various things and come up with the milk. But uh, this is strictly water. Now, if I wanted this to come out faster, I could just put a hole somewhere here or put another hole even where one of the eyes of the monkey were and it would uh, you know get some air in there to to force it down a little quicker so I want this water to drain out of here because I'm going to cut it open using this kukri and uh, one of the facts that you'll see is that I don't even need this kukri to cut it open I could use a rock uh, to actually bust it open but um, as I said we're going to we're going to use this just because I I want to use it. Here's the sheath that comes with it. 
Got a little piggyback in there, just a little uh, bird and trout knife. A uh, pretty decent sheath. You can wear it as a dangler. Uh, you can attach it here if you need to, but actually this alone will uh, suffice. It's 1095 steel, which is a good steel. Uh, good steel is uh, for sharpening, uh, you know, on a stone or, or uh, if you were out in the woods somewhere. The handle is rubber. This is about eight inches long here. Uh, I didn't know if this was wood or if it was metal. Of course, I knew that the rat tang there or the hidden tang was metal, but so I, uh, you know, I scraped it a little bit right there, and sure enough, it is metal. It is pegged there. So. This uh, water is filled with carbohydrates. You can see it's kind of clear. Pretty clear. Um, my wife is uh, going to drink this. I'm diabetic, so it's probably not really good for me, all those carbohydrates in there and stuff. So. The taste is... Uh, I don't know quite how to describe it. It's not bad. Uh, described as one of nature's energy drinks. Because it's so packed full of what you need. See right now it's like the monkey speeding. What you look for in a coconut uh, when you get them like this, this is a uh, well, I'll tell you in a few minutes if this is a young one or an older one. Uh, but what you look for typically uh, in a coconut are the pronounced uh, three dots right here. One might be slightly darker than the other ones. Uh, that would show the little age. You can also get these in the grocery store. They're like, they're all covered in a white uh, material. They just look like a big block of white. And I may pick one of those up just to just to show you uh, do a video here because that would be a real test because you, you you hack that stuff off. This is a nice clean way to do it though. Well, if I get all the water out, I'm all about the clean. You know what I'm saying? I like clean. I like clean. You know what I'm saying? I like clean. All right, I think we, I think we pretty much got it. We'll set this to the side. You can see the hole close up. Now, you see these striations right here, one there, one there, one there, and they all go all the way around, come to the end there. Well, we're gonna go like dead straight in the center of this thing, all right? Got a little crack there, see? Continuing on with the crack. Yeah. There we go. Now this cooker is great for this, but I, again, you could use a rock. Just continue on with the crack. I'm getting some shock in the back of my hand holding this thing. Here we have the uh, the coconut. This is a fairly meaty coconut, so that tells me it's it's a little bit old. And uh, another way you can tell, if this would have been a real young coconut, we might have gotten more water out of it as well. So typically, an older coconut, you get less water and more meat. Now, one of the real ways to test and see is by cutting some of this out. Oops, shoot! Well, that one's for the ants if the ants like it. Now, this is going to be real spongy in a younger coconut, and it's going to be uh, more, uh, less spongy in an older coconut. Yeah? Not all that good. Nope. I gotta tell you.
not all that good. Look at the size of my nose in this camera. Anyway, so it is okay. Definitely tastes coconut, but it's not like not like you get the shredded coconut in the stores. We'll have to doctor this up a little for that. Well, thank you for joining me on this video presentation of uh, the monkey nut and uh, this good knife.